This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. No! It is lights out against the run. Shuts down any pass play. And gets takeaways all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, Got stick around after the intro. The champ is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again going to be using my multi-deep defensive evil guys. This is probably the meta playbook to use in Madden 23. And the defense I'm going to show you guys today might be the most popular defense in the game right now. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the Woo! content and want to see more, please be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. And if you guys need more help with offense or defense, you can check out this or any of my ebooks. All you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. My game today is another possible Super Bowl preview between the Eagles and one of the best offenses in the game, the Kansas City Chiefs. A perfect test for the defense I'm going to show you guys today. I start this game out on offense, and I'm going to be running my gun stack wide flex offense all game. But I'm also going to be spending most of my time on this video focusing on the defensive plays. I've also made multiple videos about this offense, including one just yesterday. So if you guys want to see more about this offense, I will have links in the description and a pop-up on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. I start this game off with a big catch and run to the wheel route from the drive H wheel to set up a big play against his cover three defense the fade out to get inside the red zone in just two plays before settling for a field goal to end the first drive with some points on defense the formation i'm going to show you guys today is from the meta dollar three two starting off with the spinner blitz now i'm sure everyone that plays online is probably familiar with this blitz this has been one of the most popular meta defenses all year and it's a defense that i've also put out in the past as far back as several maddens so i'm going to show you this blitz setup then i'm going to show you several exotic coverages that you can use with this defense to make an entire scheme that is very hard to play against as far as the spinner blitz goes you really don't have to do anything for the run defense no for pass defense though, I find it is best to man whoever is in front of the running back to the running back for coverage. After that, you can either press the DBs or walk them down manually, as pressing the defensive backs is faster but can get you in trouble by getting you burnt deep. I suggest if you decide to go the route of pressing your defensive backs to also shade up so that your cornerbacks aren't as vulnerable to deep passes against fast receivers like I'm going to face here. Since it's third and seven though, I will also want to guess pass so that the blitz goes right for the quarterback, which will make it much faster. And last but not least, I am also going to bring my user down to hover the guard pre-snap to try to pull a blocker so that the corners can get in untouched before dropping back into coverage over the middle of the field. On the first play, he hits Kelsey on a quick hit and he bodies the safety and coverage. Then on the next play, he gets quick hit again over the middle as sacking Mahomes is going to be difficult due to his fast release. We stuff the run again on the next play before my opponent takes a short pass outside with pressure in his face on every play so far. Then on third and along, the Pressure forces another short pass underneath, nope. which we use her for a big loss to stop the first drive on a long field goal attempt to tie the game. Back on offense, I see he is still in cover three, so I dot up the corner route from the sale and pivot play for a big play on first down, while also getting to the sideline to set up my fade out play once again, as this dude has run cover three pretty much the entire game. All you have to do for this play to work is run from a hash mark to the open side of the field, put the B receiver on a comeback route, then bullet and pass lead to the sideline, and we are gone for our first touchdown of the game just like that. Back on defense on the very next play, the pressure gets in again from all sides, only to watch Mahomes get it away. But sometimes it's better to take the sack gotcha, bitch. as we switch on and get the user as we are already in field goal range. Not that it matters, is on the next play, we go for the end zone, and I saw him trying to go over with his user, yeah. but I thought I could still fit in the window. How about new? As he makes a nice user lurk to get the ball back. Back on defense, he is still relying on short passes due to the constant heat before spreading me out and taking a shot with Kelsey who bodies my defender once again for his biggest play of the game so far, as Mahomes to Kelsey is going to be a problem all game, as he rides him all the way down the field, completing pretty much every single pass. I decided to make an adjustment to bracket him in coverage by putting a hard flat underneath in the area that he's been going, but then my opponent hikes the ball while I'm still trying to man somebody to him, and he just walks in for the easiest touchdown of his life. Damn! with me trying to catch up stuck on a defensive tackle. Back on offense, my opponent is in the same formation, running a lot of cover four, so I take the big lanes for some easy yards on the ground as I want to kill clock so I can score and give him the ball back before half with no time. 
before settling for another field goal to take the lead with only 16 seconds left before halftime. Which is just enough time to show you the next play from this defense, which is probably the best coverage in the formation, especially for situations like this. The play is going to be the cover two man linebacker blitz. And I'm going to use the exact same setup from the last video that I put out about cover two man, as I even said in that video that the setup is universal and can be used in any defense. All I'm going to do is press the DBs, which are kind of already in a press. I just do it again to make sure. Then I'm going to shade down. After that, I have to decide whether to shade inside or outside. On this play, I shade inside based off the fact that I expect the receivers to be coming across the field. Then I'm going to flip the play so that the running back is manned up by the defender in front of him, and I will once again be using the blitzing linebacker in coverage. The inside shade works as all the crosses are taken away, but the corner route is wide open as the cornerback completely blows the press. But that's what the safeties over the top are for. Gotcha, so bitch! I switch on at the last second to get an interception with 12 seconds left. Since I have no timeouts, I waste no time and decide to go right for the long field goal from 58 yards out, and I barely have enough foot to hit it to further my lead to six. In the second half, I'm going to start using some of the more exotic coverages in this defense, like the cover three lock, which you can tell by the diagram is a cover three with one defender being available for a man assignment, which I will use on Travis Kelsey. On the next play, I also man the slot receiver, as these are probably the two most used receivers on the field in Madden. I then align my defenders and pinch the line for run defense as he takes another short pass for the first down. On the next play, I'm also going to mix in some cover three cloud just to give him another look. But we don't get any pressure on the next play, he just waits it out to complete it to a slant. So I set my zone drops to 25 for the next play. I recommend 25 depth for crossers and corner routes and 20 for slants like the last play. The setup for this defense is really flexible as you can do a lot of different things with it. The one adjustment that I always make is I always play over the top to turn this hard flat into a cloud flat, which I feel covers much better and won't let me give up longer plays. This defense is unique for a lot of reasons. One of the main reasons is it's really hard to hit a one play touchdown based off of how the deep zones cover. The other reason is because you have three yellow zones in the middle of the field, making it really hard to throw there. No! Another thing you can do with these extra zones is put one of them in a man assignment, either to the slot receiver, the running back, or in this case, Kelsey, to kind of double cover him on the next play as he gets completely shut down gotcha, bitch. as my opponent throws his third interception of the game as I'm sure he read zone coverage and wasn't expecting that. Back on offensive time, wasting no time as I see he's in cover three once again, so I go back to the fade out and we get back into the end zone on the next play before going for two and failing the two point conversion to take a 12 point lead. It doesn't stay like that for long as on the next play I decide to go back to the spinner blitz only to watch my opponent take the next pass for a catch and run one play touchdown on a simple crossing route Damn it! that should have been an interception. As the play didn't fail as much as the input did, as you can see I tried to jump the route only when I hit the catch button it didn't do anything as I was in perfect position to make a play on the ball but got no animation at all. Oh, come on! Back on offense and back to the fade out as he refuses to leave that cover three defense thinking instead that he can just use it himself with the safety. On the next play though he decides to kick it up a notch and just use it the cornerback instead. No! as he gets his second user lurk in the end zone on me today. Now with the safety in play, I go back to the spinner only to watch him get off the goal line due to his motion completely messing up the coverage. Then on the next play, all the motions do it again. What the hell was that? And I am lucky that I didn't give up a one play touchdown. Man is so trash. I switch the coverage to Man as he hurries me up once again, and I am just one step behind from getting another interception before deciding to just stay in zone the rest of the game, as it doesn't get as easily confused. He gets a big run the next play as I forgot got to pinch my D-line, but then on the next play, he can't find anyone before checking it down to Kelsey for like his 100th catch of the game. I stay with it though, and I almost get an interception in the end zone with Kayvon Wallace before I decide to make a personnel change and put my best cornerback on the team in Darius Slay on top of him to take that away. And on the next play, it pays off as they don't call him big play Slay for nothing gotcha, because bitch. I get interception number four right at the goal line. Now backed up against my end zone though, I only muster a few yards before getting to a critical fourth and three, which I don't usually go for. Worst case scenario, I fail, he scores a touchdown, takes the lead, but then at least I get the ball back, only needing a field goal with a little bit of time left. Once I come to the line though, I see that he is pressing with Watkins having just enough outside leverage that I think the best play here might be to take a shot. So I put him on a fade, knowing that he will get around it. Now I just have to make a good throw and catch as Hurts throws a complete dot. 
And now it's kill clock time. It's completing that pass just raised my chances of victory by a lot. But then on the next play, the pressure makes me miss a wide open tight end that might have been going for a touchdown, also stopping the clock. On the next play on third and five, I see him cheating his user over to the tight end side. So I make the decision to work the stacked wide receiver side pre-snap as I'm not going to give him any more opportunities to get user picks. My first read is to the zig route, which is completely locked. But my second read is to the in route, which comes completely wide open. And that's the ball game as we safe catch it before we set our ball carrier to conservative and run the inside zone to seal the victory, causing an instant rage quit. So that's it. That's the vid. Try this defense out for yourself. Let me know how it works in the comment section. Other than that, if you guys like the content, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. I will have more videos from the offense that I use popping up on screen. So if you guys want to know more, just click the link as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching Man My Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.